How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another crypto video and today's video is on Digibyte. Two quick announcements to make before I get into the news today. First being the Digibyte lottery. If you wish to partake in the lottery for this week, you must buy your ticket before 4 p.m. UTC tomorrow. And if tickets sell out, the grand prize will be 61,302 Digibyte. Tickets are $1 or $2. A look at the bonus prizes for this week include a pair of Digibyte socks from Cryptos that was given out yesterday. And today, there's a chance to win this Digibyte t-shirt. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that next week's lottery, the bonus prize may or may not have something to do with the five-year anniversary of Digibyte's Genesis block, which is on January 10th. Speaking of January 10th, uh, the voting is ending for the Digibyte T Fight competition of 2019. Voting is ending in six days, which is also January 10th. And this was uh, kind of set up and designed to re or coincide with Digibyte's fifth birthday. At, moment, at the moment, there are over 860 votes on over 29 entries. And this is a look at the leaderboard at the moment. These are the top three designs. If you wish to cast your vote for the design you like best, a link will be provided in the description below. So let's get right to the news today. This is a tweet from Rudy Bauman. Thanks to Coinbook for adding a Digibyte US dollar fiat pairing. This was on December 30th. Uh, this is the same day I made my Digibyte 2018 review video. And, so, and this was actually tweeted out while I was making that video, so it missed the uh, recap of 2018. So here I am reporting it today. Uh, so speaking, or moving to the next topic rather, this is VertBase. We know I reported a week or so ago that VertBase added a U.S. dollar pairing with Digibyte, and now they are looking to integrate DigiID. As you can see from this tweet, Attention, the Digibyte community, we need some assistance from Digibyte developers with Ruby on Rails experience. Looking at a possible DigiID integration, please DM us if you can help. And as we can see, they have already been contacted by Rudy Bauman and Anthem ID. I'm sure they will point them in the right direction. And uh, really, I think this may be, or 2019, I expect to report on this uh, quite often, you know, as as secure as Digi ID is, I expect once people start to implement it and realize the security it offers, I expect uh, there to be multiple implementations of Digi ID during this year, and I can't wait to report on them. So, speaking of Anthem ID, this is a tweet from them the other day. They say, "Dear community, guidelines for the QR code using Digi ID, Open Anthem ID, and Anthem ID are released." Special thanks to the Anthem ID team. Uh, I won't go into detail about this, but I'll provide a link to this tweet. You can check it out yourself. Uh, other news is DX Exchange. This is another tweet from Rudy Bauman. He's saying, huge, trading a fraction of the NASDAQ shares, including Apple, Facebook, and Tesla, outside the United States, even when the stock markets are closed. You can use... Or yeah, you can use Digibyte to invest in digital tokenized stocks backed by regular shares and even be entitled to some cash dividends. And as most of you may or may not know already, DX Exchange is going live in just three days on January 7th. This is a, an article that kind of talks more about the uh, token exchange that is ena enabling the trading of NASDAQ listed companies. So DX Exchange is based in Estonia. And uh, they've already announced, we know, January 7th is when it will launch. And, according, er, and they will allow clients to purchase crypto tokens representing shares in different tech firms listed on the NASDAQ exchange. Customers will be able to use select cryptocurrencies, Digibyte being one of them, as well as fiat currencies to purchase these tokens. The company will use NASDAQ's matching engine to facilitate the trading of digital securities as well as protect against market manipulation. DX Exchange customers will not be purchasing ownership of shares directly, but rather will purchase tokens which represent the shares in a company, as stated by the COO of DX Exchange. He's saying, henceforth, when they become a token holder, they own stocks or positions of a company's stocks, or sorry, or portions of a company's stock, as the tokens are backed by a one-to-one -one ratio of the real-world stock. This makes them entitled to the same cash dividends that the stocks are worth, he explained. So a look at what the uh, 
or what companies that are uh, NASDAQ stocks that will be available. Uh, we have the Cypress Securities Exchange Commission. Oh, read the complete wrong line there. I apologize. So the shares will be Alphabet, Apple, Amazon.com, Facebook, Microsoft, Tesla, Netflix, Baidu, which is the Google equivalent in China, Intel, and NVIDIA. So that's a look at some of the stocks that will be available for you to purchase their tokenized assets. This is a look at DX Exchange itself. So moving to the last bit of news I have today, this is a tweet from Donald Porter. There are two new additions coming to the crypto-friendly map of Jamaica. Uh, you know, I was supposed to do an interview with Donald Porter a couple weeks ago, but both of us are extremely busy, and it's kind of hard to... Uh, find time where we both are free to do this interview. We are still looking to do that in the future, but a specific date has not been set at the moment. So I've clicked his link to look at the crypto-friendly map of Jamaica. This is it. Uh, you know, this is not... There we go. So 14,149 venues on the 8th of January 2019. I believe that means over 14,000 different places will accept Digibyte as a form of payment on January 8th, 2019. This website also provides some tips for crypto tourism. Feel free to read them yourself as I will provide the link in the description. So that will wrap up today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.